To be honest, I find the snakes quite creepy. But their gait is very graceful and attractive. So let's build one such robot. I started by reviewing the skeletal structure of a snake. Using that as a starting point, I designed one of the ribs in Fusion 360. After a couple of iterations, I settled on a design that was modular and so could be easily extended to achieve the desired length of the snake. It was light in weight, which would allow its actuation to be easily handled by a micro servo. The wheels were 3D printed and the axle was simply an M2 screw turning inside an M3 sleeve to minimize the cost. A 16 servo controller I had came in quite handy. It meant that I could attach 16 NG90S servo motors and make the size of a snake a bit more lifelike. From head to its tail, the slitherbot measures more than one meter. To make it a bit more realistic, I decided to give a skin to the robot. The design was based on a publication by Disney Research. The paper proposes a comprehensive approach to characterizing the mechanical properties of structured sheet materials. Two-dimensional linear materials can be classified into various symmetry groups with different characteristic Young's modulus profiles. For the Slitherbot, I selected a design from the orthotropic group. Assembly Step number one Install the infrared sensor using a double sided tape. There is a hole on the back side of the bottom half of the head to route the wires. The sensor needs power and ground. It outputs a digital signal indicating the proximity. The red light next to the screwdriver tip turns on when an object is within the range. The digital pin can be read to get the status programmatically. Step number two, prepare and install the two wheels followed by the bracket used for routing the wires. The holes on the arch section of the rib can facilitate the assembly. Step number three, install the micro servo motor into the coupler. Route the wires through the slit and secure the motor to the collar using the two screws that come with the MG90S motor. Step number four, ensure that the servo motor is calibrated and set to 90 degrees before following the next step. Slide the coupler assembly into the rib section. Slide the cylindrical peg on the coupler into the base of the rib and then push the servo horn in.
Secure the servo horn with a screw through the access hole on the top. Step number 5. Ensure that the servo motor can turn freely. Now repeat this process 16 times and attach the ribs using the screw holes in the collar of the coupler. After that, follow the wiring diagram in the project documentation to connect the motors, the servo controller, the microcontroller, which is Arduino Nano in our case, the voltage regulator and the battery. Program the software. The code is hosted on the GitHub. As a final touch, install the skin and secure it using some double-sided tape. Turn on the robot and watch it slither away.